What is going on you guys? This is AJS Online and today I'm going to be showing you how to get Windows 8 installed free and activated. So as you can see, just for proof that I did it, um, I did do this method and this is not my original uh, method so I will give the original link in the description um, just to give credit. So um, as you can see I have a working Windows 8 menu. Let me open HXD and that works perfectly fine. And uh, one of the reasons I liked it is because, you know, just let me open this, it has a sharp look on the program. Like, it, Windows 7 kind of had like a curve on the uh, curves here or on the corner, but I like how it's like sharp. I like how it's, you know what I mean? It's just, I don't know. But um, this is my. Um, Program, gamer card viewer. Let me type in AJS online. Show my gamer card. It'll pop up that for a second. Then it'll pop up my gamer card. Now, spammer. You can test that on a notepad if you wanted. Um, the download link to this will be in the description if you like that too. Now, here. Let me go into my desktop. The two files you will get are these two folders right here. Now, this one is not a um, a torrent. This one is though, because it has 32 bit, 64 bit Windows 8. Now, um, to check if your computer is 32 bit or 64 bit, you will have to, on Windows 7, you will need to go to the Start menu and then right click Computer and click Properties, and it should say whether your system is a 32 bit operating system or a 64 bit operating system. Now, um, if your um, if your computer is a 64-bit operating system, you want to click 64. If it's 32, you'll click 86. I don't know why they put that. They should have put 32. But, um, yeah. So, once you download the torrent and the activator, all you do is you have to download the Windows 7, not neighborhood. You have to download the Windows 7, um, let me go see here. Uh, has so much stuff. All right, Windows 7 USB down DVD download tool. Now, this is a Windows 7 to Windows 8 upgrade only. So if you have Windows XP now, you can just close the video. Now, when you click on this, I'll say yes. Then it'll load up. All right, now choose ISO file. Now you go to browse, and then you want to go to your um, desktop or whatever you saved it to. Then go to the folder of the Windows 8 RTM Final Professional and click wh whichever one you are, 32, 64 bit. Um, I believe mine is 64 so I'm just going to go to that and then double click that RAR file, click next and then USB device or DVD. My USB device wouldn't have, wouldn't make a Windows 7 backup on here so I had to use a DVD. To get blank DVDs all you gotta do is order them off of a a site. I'll give you a link in the description for that too, um, to order blank DVDs. And um, this can't be used on a CD though. A CD-ROM, you can't use that. You have to use a DVD. So um, once you do that, you make your own creatable boot disk for Windows 8, basically. So what you want to do next is put shut your computer down, and then start it, but open up the disk drive, put the disk in shut it and then when it starts up turn it off again now and then you want to boot it back up again which is kinda of confusing and then when you boot it back up if it has a boot menu then you would want to um, click your DVD or like you have to go to your boot menu I think it's R12 or R12, F12 or F2 I'm not sure but mine was F2 so basically what you want to do is after that um, just select the boot drive to the DVD drive and once you do that um, it'll boot off the disk and then you have an installation uh, menu popping up and then once you do that like once you get that far you have to write down uh, one of the three codes that come with this thing right here with the uh, Windows 8 on a minute let me find it um, keys now when you click on this key, um, there's these right here, I'll space these out for you. They're like Microsoft point codes, but they're not. 
So, I mean, like, it, it's the exact same format and everything. So, um, write one of these down. I used this one. Um, this one helped me. These both didn't. Actually, I didn't use this one, so you might want to use try to use that one. Um, this one for me didn't work. Um, this one did. This is the one I'm using right now. Probably because this doesn't have a fifth letter to it. Oh, there we go. Let's do that. I'm dumb. Anyway, um, that one didn't work for me. This one worked. That's what I'm using right now. And then I haven't tried this one. So, but this is by uh, thumperdc.com. So I will give credit to them. And um, yeah, I mean, you know, that's pretty much it. I mean, once you download the torrent, then you do all that. You put it on a, um, you put it on a. Uh, ISO file on the disk, then you boot it up, and you have you have to write it down because you're going to be restarting your computer and booting it up through the disk, which gives you an installation file, and then you just uh, write it go on from there. And uh, once you're done with that, um, all your files will remain intact. Make sure you click the one that says um, it doesn't say custom install; it says something else. Um, it'll give you a warning when you click custom install saying that it will delete all your files. So, or whichever one. Don't pick that one because it will delete all your files. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's not really much to it. I mean, <laughs> it's pretty simple. So, um, then you want to, I forgot, you want to click on the activator. Then, let me find it. Okay, I'll give you this one because this Windows 8 activator doesn't work, so just let me delete that. Um, this one actually works. It restarts your computer, though, so just, yeah. So, um, this is by Napster J. Um, I appreciate him using this. Now, I'm not going to open this up because it. I already. I just did this, like I said, activate Windows, so I activated it and it restarted my computer. So, I don't want to mess up this tutorial, so... Um, then you click on it, then you go through it, and it'll restart your computer, and then you, you'll be activated. Now, one cool thing about Windows 8 is you can, um, at the top of the screen, it has, like, a little hand. You pull that down, and you can, like, open up two tabs at the same time, or, like, more than one tab. But, um, I thought that was pretty cool to show you guys. Um, to lock your computer, um, you would basically just go to, um, your start menu click on your email click lock now it, it will ask you for an email so I would set up an email just to log in with before anything else like uh... let me use xbox smart glass I wanna show you some stuff on here just let it connect to my xbox I'm playing minecraft right now so I can in with xbox smart glass you can um, you can Hmm, I don't know how to explain it. Like, you can use your computer as a controller. Like, you can press A, B, X, Y, the middle button, every button on the controller, which is kind of cool. Um, the only thing about it, though, is that your parents can, like, get on your computer and, like, look at your Xbox and stuff. So, um, it didn't work. Actually, it does. So, last played Minecraft Xbox 360 Edition. Uh, I can't show you the controller because it's not connecting to my Xbox at the moment. So, and, yeah, so you have to sign in with your Xbox account, same one that you use. And this is kind of like a task manager. You want to right-click on that, click close, and you put your mouse up to the top left corner of the screen to do that. So, um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. So, uh, if I forgot anything, just let me know, and I'll, uh, I'll add it in the description. So, um, if you like this video, um, rate, comment, subscribe, and I will be bringing more awesome tutorials like this. So, um... Yeah, uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.